a full finish to the week. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci, and if you're dropping your kids off at the bus stop or you guys are watching this forecast, I'm telling you what, we start out a little bit chilly here for 7 a.m. in the 40s. As we go throughout the mainland at the shore, we're in the 50s. We'll call it hoodie and jeans weather here for you as we start off our Friday morning, but with a good amount of sunshine. As we look at our weekend notes here, we're looking to be spot on as we go into our Friday evening kicking off the weekend. Now, the good news is most of your day on Saturday will be dry. It's not until the evening that a shower becomes possible. And again, it's just possible. It's not going to be everywhere during this time. Then we're dry from the overnight hours until late on Sunday morning. Then we see a cold front coming through for the late morning hours until just around sunset. And that will bring scattered showers throughout this period. As we go forward into the day on Friday, temperatures in the mid 60s everywhere. All of your fall plans are looking great. Again, the morning sunshine followed by just a couple of fair weather afternoon clouds. So going to high school football kickoff between 6 to 7 p.m. for a lot of the games. Temperatures in the 60s or upper 50s, depending on where you are and what time your game starts. Overall, pretty seasonable for this time of year. Again, hoodie and jeans weather, good for before school, good for after school going into Friday night football as well. Then we go forward in time into the weekend. Again, most of your day on Saturday is dry. And this is for 8 a.m. on Saturday. And watch those times here on the top of the map as we go forward with this radar loop. We're dry for most of the day on Saturday. Maybe we get skirted by a shower during the evening, but the main story doesn't come until Sunday day during the day and again it's looking to be more than likely from the late morning until just around the sunset period rainfall totals for us look to be on the lighter side under a half inch or just about a half inch for everywhere highest amounts will be out towards philadelphia closer to the low pressure system which should sit about 500 miles away from us during this time we'll take it to the other side of the weekend as we go into our mainland seven day forecast 69 on monday 70 on tuesday 72 on Wednesday, we are warming up here as we go into the early and mid part of the week. Now, we'll be breezy as we go into Wednesday here. And unfortunately for you trick-or-treaters out there, going to need an umbrella with your Halloween costume. It is looking to be wet and windy. However, we are still seven days away. And while we do know that a storm will be around, around that Halloween time, the exact details are just not known yet. What we do know too though is after that passes, we are expecting an autumn chill, a real autumn chill as we go into the first weekend of November. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you know where to find us on social media. And you can also go to our website, thepressofac.com slash weather. We have a drought update for you. We are talking about fall foliage, and we are also debuting our second edition of our Something in the Air newsletter.